What's up guys? It's Jake, Legends Never Die, where neither will you if you know Jesus. This is going to be a long video. I'm just warning you up front. Uh, I'll also tell you though that there are some killer, killer items I've added to my collection that you don't want to miss. You definitely want to hang around and see them. Uh, if you don't, uh, because it's a long video, I think you'll be missing out. Um, but there's been a lot going on for me right now. Um, our church got a new pastor, uh, Pastor Tommy, um, who me and him have hit it off right away, which is great. He's a big Braves fan, so we talk about that all the time. And uh, we're going to be able to do some cool things uh, in the ministry and life of our church. So I am excited about that with him coming on board and all those things going on and getting him acclimated and ready to rock and roll. Uh, been very busy. Uh, on top of that, if you don't know, I'm in seminary right now and just finished the semester off for the summer. Um, if you've ever taken foreign language, let's say Spanish, for example, or Latin, you know, there's some crossover between that and the English language, some similarities where you can figure things out. I just took Greek where there are no similarities for the second semester in a row. So that tells you how that went. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be done with Greek. Um, but finish that up. Uh, summer's really busy for youth group um, and church league sports. Softball team has started playing. Really enjoying that. Uh, off to a good start. Uh, maybe we'll win another championship. I'm optimistic that we could. Um, what else is going on? Luca's growing each and every day, learning more stuff, saying more words. Um, he's one and a half. Uh, he can say every letter in his alphabet and identify them. Um, he can point at cars passing, you know, the window at a restaurant and say green truck, blue truck, red truck. He knows like 10 colors. Um, apparently, according to the doctor, he's not supposed to be able to point them out, identify them and tell you what color they are more than three uh, at the age of two. Uh, so uh, pretty interesting times and we don't know any better. You know, he's our only child and our oldest, obviously. Uh, so that's fun. Um, and I recently had a birthday uh, where I added all these items that I'm going to show you uh, for my birthday to my collection uh, that accumulated over time. Don't think I'm uh, made of money. I work in ministry for heaven's sake uh, that I've been accumulating for a while and then give them all to myself uh, for my birthday. Uh, and then also another thing, uh, me and my wife just celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary. And uh, she said, hey, do you want to go to the ballpark uh, for your for the anniversary? And we did. We went to a Braves game in Atlanta, stayed the night down there, went to the Coca-Cola factory. It was a good time. Um, that was my component of uh, our fifth year wedding anniversary because later this summer we're going to Australia to see the uh, Women's World Cup for 10 days, which my wife is very excited about. Uh, but you guys have heard me ramble on long enough about life stuff. Uh, let's get into the collection. First of all, this is a gift um, from one of my friends here on YouTube, uh, average Braves fan, Jared. Uh, he is a Braves season ticket holder, and he helped me get this sweet new Braves hat. It's the uh, gold logo for the World Series. How cool is that? But let's get the uh, camera flipped around, and let's look at some awesome additions from my birthday. All right, starting off, this is easily my personal favorite. Um, this is a baseball uh, with Luca's handprint on it. Uh, it says Luca 20 months. That is my favorite gift for my birthday for sure. Um, his mama even had him do it with his left hand. Left-handed, hopefully, just like his dad. Uh, but we got lots of stuff to look at here. Gonna hit a lot of my different vintage sets. Uh, some Hall of Fame stuff. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first thing I guess I will start with is a, a couple additions. Yeah, basketball. 1970-71 Tops Tall Boys. That's Hall of Famer Hal Greer. And there's a 70-71 All-Star of Nate Thurmond right there. Uh, let's just do the, the oversized stuff first. Uh, at least some of the... Uh, not huge ticket items. Some 1955 Topps doubleheaders. That's Hal Newhauser, my first Hall of Famer to that set. 
Uh, here's a couple commons, Wally Moon, Jerry Lynch. Those are cool. Then got a uh, quartet of Red Man cards. Uh, these are all from 1952. See those there? Casey Stengel's the one on top. That's the biggest one for sure. Hall of Famer. Adding to my Red Man set. None of them have tabs on those. But those are some of my favorites. Big stack of 1969, 70 tops basketball. I'm going to hit the highlights on these. There's a Nate Thurmond Hall of Fame rookie card. Here's an uh, Al Adels. It's a Hall of Famer rookie card. Elgin Baylor. Elgin can have a stand for now. There you go, Elgin. Uh, this one's a Billy Cunningham. Go Tar Heels. Hall of Fame rookie card. We've got Lenny Wilkins. Hall of Fame rookie. Let's see, who else do we got? Wes Unseld. Hall of Fame rookie. Probably like, Jake, really none of these make the stand? <laughs> Trust me. We're just getting started. Willis Reed. Hall of Fame rookie. He can have a stand for now. Let's see here. There's a few more good ones in here. Donnie Nelson. Hall of Fame rookie. Dave DeBusher. who's also a politician, but more importantly, a basketball Hall of Fame rookie card. Let's see. We've got... Walt Bellamy, Walt Frazier, pretty cool. And here are the two big ads from this set. <laughs> the Big E, Elvin Hayes, Ricky Card, very cool. But the biggest one, that's right, this is the Lou Alcindor rookie. Also known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, for those of you not familiar. So there are the uh, big oversized cards, for the most part. We'll get to a couple more at the end. All right, on this section, we're going to go newest to oldest. Here's a 2013 five-star Bryce Harper autograph. It's currently graded an A5. You'll probably see a video of me uh, cracking that later. <laughs> because he needs to be in a magnetic like the rest of my set of those. What else we got? Our new Hall of Fame rookie. Or rookie. Autograph. Scott Rowan. Helping me towards one of my collecting goals. One more basketball card. This is the only 1957-58 Tops basketball card I have. But that's Lenny Rosenbooth's rookie card. Go Tar Heels. Pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. Three, four, five. We got six 1957 cards, including some uh, tough mid numbers. Probably the biggest names are there's a Johnny Padres and uh, there's a the Jim Gilliam. So those are cool. Add to my set builds. Next year, as we get older here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Got seven fifty-five Bowman TVs. Uh, those are commons and high numbers. There's an Alvin Dark. But here are the, the two biggies from this set, at least. It's Hank Aaron. Love it. And uh, with Hank, you gotta have Willie. So those two guys are gonna take these stands for now okay what else we got we got some uh 54 bowmans all hall of famers here nelly fox larry doby well now it's not a hall of famer but perfect game pitcher that's don larson's rookie card and uh red shane deanst the stack here what we got? Okay. 
Got some uh, 1953 tops. There's about 15 or so of them there. Three or four high numbers, but common players, no, no big names. Uh, here's a trio of 1953 Bowman Black and Whites for my set. I promise there's some more big name cards. Um, this is a ridiculous stack of like 30, 52 tops. Those are for my set. Um, these were the best 52s, at least this go around. Just some Yankees. Got Hank Bauer, Joe Collins, Eddie Lopat. Shout out to Vintage Sanctuary, your boy. Oh, and a Sherry Robertson. Nah, you got mixed up in that stack somehow. Let's clear this and uh, keep going. All right, next up 1951 Bowman like 30, 33 commons and high numbers there. Uh, but to hit the highlights of those, got two Hall of Famers. We've got a uh, Johnny Mize. All part of my various vintage set builds. Man, I hate that glare on those. And a 51 Bowman Whitey Ford rookie card. Hits the Hall of Fame rookies. Which puts me at 99 total, one away from my goal. Uh, and a, a big card from 1951 Bowman. One of the biggest outside of course, Mantle, Maze, you know, some guys you never heard of. These are really cool. Uh, not something you see too often. Uh, here are three, four, five, 52 red mans, or red mans, red backs. There's Al Rosen. That's the biggest card in that little stack for that set build. But they're not the ones you don't see that often. It's these that you don't see that often. Now, they're not big names, but James Vernon, Granny Hamner, Herman Weimeyer. But these are bluebacks. They're much tougher than their red back counterparts, even for the commons. So excited to add those to my set build for that. Uh, 1950 Bowmans are next. There are 62 1950 Bowmans in here, low numbers um, and Giants and Dodgers and, you know, stuff like that. Not any Hall of Famers or any big rookies in that stack. However, this is the 1950 Bowman Larry Doby. Shout out to my boy, Reindeer Studios, fellow beardsman. I know he's got to love that one. I know I do. It's easy to get that card uh, confused with the uh, Harry Simpson, Suitcase Simpson, who has a really similar pose on his card uh, from the same set, which is kind of cool. All right. One more stack of vintage here. Got some uh, 49 Bowmans. Nobody huge, just some commons. Probably the biggest is right there, Dutch Leonard. Um, a stack of five of those there. 549 Bowmans. One 1940 play ball. Not a huge name, not a fun nickname, but hey, need it for the set build. A pair of 48 Bowmans for that set. Um, I'm officially 50% done with it, which is pretty cool. The, the really big card I need for it is... Uh, the Yogi rookie. Um, here are, man, I don't know, a dozen or so. 34 Gowdies. That cool catcher card on top. These are all commons, but ones I need for my set. Um, one Hall of Famer from 34 Gowdy. There's the Bill Terry. We'll give him a stand. 34 Gowdy. Um, this was a cool... Tide card, but not a Hall of Famer, Dom. Uh, it's a Z Nut, 1920 Z Nut, which I had a bunch of these, if you know, you know, and uh, moved most of them, but I kept this one because it was the Oakland Oaks. And uh, I'm a mountain boy, I love my trees, and thought that was a cool team name and something cool as a, a kind of a type card to keep for the collection. Um, I didn't even pay 25 bucks for it, it was cheaper than that. Um, so I give him a stand. Now, 
for those of you that know, I started the T206 build. There is uh, Ira Thomas Common. It's just a sweet cap back, nothing special there, but hey, every time you can add a T206, that's a big deal. Now, a few more cards. Um, what order do I want to go in here? Okay, let's go with this. It's a 1947 to 66 exhibit, Jackie Robinson, playing days Jackie. One time it was researched whether it was a rookie or not. It is a photo from when he was in Montreal in the minors. Uh, but from what experts say, this card was probably printed during his second year. Uh, so it does not predate his rookie. But a cool card nonetheless. It has definitely gone up. Um, here's a an autograph. Love my Perez Steels. There's a Willie Mays. Um, it does come with JSA, but I plan to get it slabbed with the other ones just because of authentication purposes I don't, so it looks like the other ones um so that can go there let's see what do i want to go with last all right let's go with t206 here's a frank chance yellow portrait really cool card i had the red portrait already um i did not pay 290 dollars for it but it's a piedmont back I need to take it out of that stupid plastic sleeve but uh Super cool to add another Hall of Famer uh, to the T206 set, but he's joined by uh, Mr. Tinker. There's the Joe Tinker portrait. I already had the Tinker bat off shoulder. Um, it's a Piedmont bat. Super cool. Uh, three more items as far as what I got for my birthday. Yes, this is all for my birthday. Most of you probably don't know what this is, and for right now, I'm not going to tell you how rare this really is, um, but Mike, baseball collector, if you're watching, this may have something to do with what I was talking to you about. Uh, we'll discuss it soon. Here's another one that is even uh, more rare than the one I just showed you, Earl Averill. Maybe I'll get some questions about that in the comments. Uh, one more item I want to show uh, before I show you guys what I got um, from a fellow YouTuber. This is a 1948 Bowman panel. Could have been a salesman sample. Um, it's not stamped as so, but it is a panel that is uncut. It does happen to have the Ralph Kiner rookie card and Johnny Sane rookie card on it. I'll let you guys take a look at the back. How cool is that? I decided to keep this um, <laughs> largely because of John Mangini when I asked him about it and its value and he wanted it for his museum. Uh, that tells you, you got a cool item on your hands. Uh, so I ended up deciding to keep it since I collect that set. Now the last two items um, actually came from a fellow YouTuber. It is uh, Frank at Baseball Hall of Fame Autographs. Uh, this first one I purchased from him. It's a Tom Yockey. That's a Hall of Fame autograph. And then out of the kindness of his heart, he said it would look good on a Perez steel uh, cut. And he knows me very well. That's exactly where it's going to go. But it may be hard to see on camera. It's a Bucky Harris autograph. If he paid five bucks for this, <laughs> that's pretty dang good, Frank. Um, but this was a gift from him. Uh, I really appreciate that, man, and your friendship. And uh, it will be going on a Perez Steel. So I hope you guys stuck with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed taking a, a quick look through all this stuff that I added to my collection here. And now I get to do the fun part. I get to update the, the website and the spreadsheets and see where all my sets stand at, and see if I hit any goals. I know I'm close on a few. Uh, so thank you guys for checking it out, for watching. And uh, remember, keep collecting, and God bless.